Are you tired of not getting the kind of matches that you want on online dating apps? Are you tired of getting ghosted, flaked on, breadcrumbed, the whole nine yards? Well, then you need to watch this video because I'm about to teach you the one thing that you can do that will change it from her seeing you as that harmless, innocent, friend zone, kind of nice guy she's not interested in into that masculine, confident man that she now wants to get to know. There's actually one picture that you need that will compel beautiful women to swipe right immediately. And it's something that you can do right now, actually. And just so that we're clear, no shirtless pics required here, guys. No cutesy or impressive animals, no jet setting photos or you in fancy cars, no pics of you cooking. This is something that you actually have right now and that you can turn on. You just never knew about it. And and make sure you stay till the very end because I'm going to show you real examples of how to do this. On apps like Tinder and Bumble, where photos are extremely important, photo-centric apps, as I like to call them, your success is going to lie on how strong your pics come off. This doesn't mean that you need to learn a new hobby all of a sudden or make yourself look like a GQ model. This just means what she's feeling from you in that photo. So let me give you a quick example of what I mean by this. One of my former students went into online dating when he first started out thinking, oh, let me show women that I am athletic and competent and that I run marathons. And so he literally had a photo of himself finishing a marathon. However, in the photo, his energy was really closed off. He looked shy and just did not look like he was really comfortable in his own skin. That photo actually did him way worse than a photo of him not finishing or running a marathon, but where he was feeling confident, embodied, masculine, and just very present with himself. Women pick up on this. Women feel that energy through your photos. It's absolutely true. So it's really important that you learn exactly how to do this. What I'm gonna be teaching you is how to smize, S-M-I-Z-E. And that's essentially smiling with your eyes. Now, I want you guys to see what I mean by using these examples. Here's an example of a person not smizing and then a few seconds later, turning on that smize. You can feel that his energy and the attraction is totally different. Remember, nothing else changed. So what's going on here? Let's break this down. Well, firstly, notice how much tension there is in the face. When we feel uncomfortable, anxious, nervous, just not good in our skin, it shows through and through and you can see that with the tension in the face right here. So let's look at the example of when you smize, you actually relax into it. Think about it this way, fight or flight, or in just nice guy syndrome mode, this is where you're gonna hold a lot of tension in your face because you tend to overthink things, you tend to overanalyze, and you also tend to micromanage your expressions and tensions instead of just being relaxed and present and letting that go. Notice how in fight or flight, your eyes are gonna be wide open. Why? Because you're actually looking out for harm for any signal that's gonna tell you, okay, time to fight, time to flight. That does not come off as a grounded, masculine, confident man. So here's what you're going to do instead. You're going to smize, smile with your eyes. You're gonna relax tension in your head, your forehead, your mouth and jaw, and you're going to ever so slightly close your eyelids, almost like you're squinting. And then as you're squinting, release that tension. Why does this work? This works because when you're feeling confident or comfortable in the situation, you don't feel like you have to be on guard. You don't feel like you have to be in defense mode. You can completely let go and you can kind of sit back and take in what's happening. And what that looks like physically is just relaxing the tension in the eyes so that you're not looking for harm and you're just feeling grounded. And you do this by minimizing the whites around your eyes because that means you were truly not threatened by what's going on. You are feeling like you're in your element and everything is all good. And that comes across as really confident. If you're having a hard time doing this, here's an exercise that I'd like for you to do. I want you to pretend like you're seeing an ophthalmologist and the eye doctor is asking you to read the smallest line on the screen. Normally for most of us, we have a hard time reading that, right? So something that's really far away, what do you tend to do? You tend to really squint your eyes. So squint your eyes hard, hard, hard. Now, as you're squinting your eyes, relax everything else in your face. And then very slowly, relax the tension in your eyes, in your eyelids, so that you're minimizing the whites 
in your eyes so that other people cannot see the whites in your eyes as clearly. And so it's halfway between a normal glare and a full on squint to the point where it just feels comfortable, easy, and almost peaceful. Now, if you wanna smile while doing this, that's optional. A little smirk can't hurt, but I want you to really feel in your body as you're smizing into the camera. And you don't have to do this in all of your pics, but at least your primary pic in your online dating profile should be a smize photo and watch how your results shift. Of course, attracting her online is just one part of being able to attract women and keep them. Because if you don't truly have the confidence, the knowledge, the skills and the tools to attract her in real life, then she's going to meet you in person and she's gonna say, this is not what I signed up for. So what we truly need to work on is that inner core confidence, that type of confidence that cannot be faked, that type of confidence that women feel through and through. And she's gonna feel it not only in your pics, but she's gonna feel it in real life too when she's meeting you. Now, confidence is just the beginning. There are so many other tools you need in order to understand women, to attract them and to keep them. When you have a coach or a mentor, it makes things significantly easier because you're avoiding all the mistakes that you would be making and not know it or that you would find out you're making the hard way. And so you'll be saving yourself a lot of heartache and a lot of time. Now, if this sounds interesting to you or you wanna find out more about what we do and how we can help you, then I wanna invite you to click on the link and schedule a free breakthrough call. On this call, we're gonna assess what's going on and we're gonna see if we can help you. We're gonna be asking you a few questions to see what the situation is, what you're struggling with, and what your goals are. And we're gonna assess if we're a good fit to work together. Ultimately, this program, including the bootcamp, gave me so much more than I was expecting. Basically, I got everything that I was expecting plus more. And what I didn't expect was all of this work around the, uh, the energy and, and beyond that, everything related to the inner, inner thoughts because that's obviously super important. I mean, you need to know how to approach, but you also need to be in the right mindset to do that. And that's extremely important. I thought that, I, I was sure there would be some work around it. I, I didn't nearly expect as much as I got. This in itself is just reason enough to do the, the program. So click the link to see if you're a good candidate for our 90-day mentorship and I can't wait to see you on the other side.